Welcome back, and today we're going to look at my Xbox 360 collection. Now, for me, the Xbox 360, I stayed away from that very first system simply because pretty much everyone I know who had it had that red ring of death issue, and I didn't want to have to drop all this money on a system and then it just fail. So, I waited until the 360 Slim came out, and that's when I jumped on board. So, I currently have the uh, Halo Reach Edition, I absolutely love the system, and highly recommend the Slim model. Now currently I have 81 360 games, and let's get straight into it. The very first game here is Aki Katana. Now this is a shoot 'em up on the system. The 360 has quite a few shoot 'em ups, and they're all really fun. Next up is Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Bayonetta. I have tried to get into this game. I'm about halfway through and I, I, I lost the interest in the game altogether. I have no idea what's going on. Um, I don't know. I gotta give it another go. Blazing Angels. And I'm really not the type of person who likes these aircraft games, but for some reason I really love this game and highly recommend this one as well. It's really cheap. Next up is Blazing Angels 2. I get to try this one, but if it's half as good as the other one, I know I'll love this one too. Blue Dragon, Call of Duty 2 Special Edition, and from what I know it only came in Special Edition, so. Call of Juarez, now I played this on the PC, absolutely love this game, it's a western and it has a great storyline, so it's a hidden gem on the system. This is Command and Conquer Tiberian Wars. Crackdown, Crackdown 2, Darksiders, another really good game. This here you play as War, and I actually prefer this one to the second one. Uh, War is a badass. I really like this character. So um, I'm looking forward to more, hopefully, Darksiders games. Obviously, I have uh, Darksiders 2. Uh, you play as Death in this one. I didn't like this one as much as the initial one, but from what I heard, uh, before um, THQ closed down, they were actually planning on doing a four-player co-op game, which would have been amazing. You know, playing as all four horsemen in a co-op game, that would have been awesome. Now I know that someone else purchased the rights to that game, so hopefully they do something with it. Dead or Alive 5, really fun fighting game. I haven't played this one yet. Dragon Age 2. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. I haven't played that one yet either. Dead Rising. This is Dead Rising off the record. I think it's Dead Rising 2 off the record. I've obviously yet to even open it up. Another shooter on the system. Death Smiles. Really fun game. Awesome graphics. Another kind of, it's not really hidden gem because a lot of people know about this, so go pick it up. It's really cheap. Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. Divinity 2. Got this at a garage sale. Uh, I think it was like $12.50 or something like that. I just saw it and I figured it was an Atlas game, might as well pick it up. Dragon Age Origins. Some of these are out of, out of order here. Fable 2. Fight Night Round 4. Formula 1 2010. Forza Horizon. Pretty much all the Forza games are amazing. Forza 2. Forza 3. I got this with the system actually, uh, Christmas Day. Uh, Gears of War Judgment. It's the only Gears I've yet to play. So I hope it's good. Hopefully it's good. All the other ones are. Gears of War. Gears of War 3. Gun. Another game I used to play on the PC. This one here is another Western. A lot of fun to play this one as well. So. If you're looking for a Western to play, Call of Juarez and Gun. Both really cheap too. Halo 3, I have the, the 
collector edition uh, helmet somewhere around here. Halo 3 ODST. Halo 4. Halo Reach. I'm a big fan of Halo, as you can tell. I absolutely love the entire series. I actually just play it for a single player. I don't play online. Cameo. Another really good rare game. Basically what you do is you change into these little um, other creatures and you go around getting through puzzles and fighting enemies and stuff like that. Uh, Connect Adventures. Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead 2. I played both of these online just because I think these are really the only 360 games I play online because it's better playing in co-op. Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Lost Odyssey. Lost Planet. Um, this is the Quattro's edition. I found this at a pawn store. It's missing the sleeve. I actually, I'm actually not even a big fan of this game, but I, I can't get rid of it because I love the steel book for some reason. If you take a look at the very front and uh, very back here, Steelbook is absolutely amazing on this thing. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Mass Effect. Mass Effect 2. I've yet to... I tried Mass Effect 1 and I got stuck. I didn't know what to do. So I gotta try that one again some point. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Ninja Gaiden 2. Darkness. I've yet to even open this one up. So I haven't opened this one up either. Darkness 2. Must have on the system. The orange box. And if you're going to get it on the PS3 or 360, get it on the 360. It's a lot better. Uh, Series 10 Collection. Witcher 2, which I've not even opened up. Uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. I tried this out. Um, wasn't really too impressed with it. But for some reason I picked up the second one as well. Uh, a game I am impressed with. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist. This game is awesome. I absolutely love this game. It's a really great stealth game. Kind of not as stealthy as previous games, uh, a little bit more friendly to the casual player, but a lot of fun. Uh, Autumn is excellent, another shooter on the system. Perfect Dark Zero. Prey. Now, I played this on the PC as well, and another really good shooter. Looking forward to Prey 2. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, another really good game. If you, PS3, 360, it doesn't matter, go pick it up. It's more of a classic, um, I guess, Sands of Time kind of game. Next up is Project Gotham Racing 3. Quake 4. I remember me. This one's not opened, but I, I played it on the 360. Or, sorry, on the PS3 I played it on. Really good game. It's a lot better than the reviews are saying. So if you can find this cheap, go pick it up because it is a lot of fun and the story's really good. I just have it downloaded on my PS3, so I have no reason to open that up. Uh, this one is the Sega Superstar Tennis and Xbox uh, Live Arcade 3. All these games are falling down now. Next up, Seth Park, The Stick of Truth. I picked this up at a garage sale again, twelve fifty. I absolutely love this game. It's hilarious. Go pick it up. I'm looking forward to that new game that's coming out as well. This game is so much fun to play. The story's good. Uh, combat's really basic, so if you're not really into those heavy RPGs, this may be the game for you. If you're really into those heavy RPGs, it's still fun because the story's funny. Next up, The Syndicate. I haven't played this one either. Tales of Vesperia, the special edition. 
Now, I haven't played this, but I picked this up at a, uh, a pawn store close to where I live, and they didn't know what they had, because I got this for, I think it was like $10, roughly. The guy was telling me how, oh, this must be worth a lot more because it looks Japanese. I said, well, I don't know. <laughs> so next up, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction. Viva Piñata. This is, um, oh, I got this backwards. Viva Piñata. There we go. Viva Piñata, Trouble in Paradise. Wolfenstein. Xbox Live Arcade, I'm bugged. A lot of really great games on this. Um, all these Xbox Live are games uh, that come out on physical release. I always try to pick them up just because they're really cheap and there's a lot of really good games on this. They're not full like, um, Mass Effect type games, but they're kind of those addictive games. Last but not least, uh, we've got the Zone of the Enders HD Collection. Now moving on to my Collector's Editions, because I do have a few of those. These are, I guess, going to be in reverse order. Gears of War 2. I got this with my system as well. Forza 4. This is Mass Effect 3. Dead Rising 2, the Zombrax edition. Fable 3. Halo Wars Limited Edition. I picked this one up because I'm a big fan of Ensemble Studios, the guys who made the Age of Empires games. And this was sadly their last game. So I had to pick this up. I hear good things about it. I've yet to even try it though. And last but not least, Alan Wake. Now this is the game to have on the system. This game sold me on the system itself just because it the awesome storyline. And I'll show you the if you haven't seen this, you probably have. The collection edition looks like a book, and it opens up like a book, so this thing is awesome. When I saw it for sale, I, I picked it up and was very happy to have this. Played through the game, awesome storyline. So anyways, let's get this off the floor, get it on the shelf. So that is the Xbox 360 collection. Hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, take care.